guys, welcome to Charcoal King. So today we're going to do a Japanese steakhouse style dinner. Me and my wife love the hibachi style steakhouses. But what we learned was $25, $35, $18 per person. It just seemed like we didn't go out a lot just because the price point was so high. So how do we fix it? You make it at home. gorgeous ribeye. I don't know if you can tell by this video, but this ribeye is absolutely phenomenal. $6.99 a pound. This is about a, I don't know, about an 18 to 20 ounce ribeye. This is perfect for, for, for me and my wife. Um, you guys can just see the marbling in there. All right, and today we're going to be using our paella pan that we got from Lodge. We haven't used it before. It's going to be our first cook. So not only are you guys going to see the seasoning process, but you're going to see the first cook to see what happens. So this is how it's going to go down. The reason why it's so important to have your vegetables and everything ready is because it happens really fast. Just like while you're sitting down at the restaurant, you know, they turn on the little burner, they give you some appetizer. Oh, oh, I could put here. Oh, throw it to me. Oh yeah. Rice ball. Rice ball. Let's see. Open wide. You guys can't uh... see this. this is good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the point is, hit the lamp. Everything, yeah, hit the lamp. Everything happens really, really fast. So what we're going to do, we're just going to sear this off on the, uh, actually, you know what? We're going to use a flavor. Let's change it up. I was going to sear it on the grill to get a little bit more of the uh, smoke flavor because I'm a big fan of that. But what we're going to do is help season the skillet, the pie pan. We're going to sear it on there, okay? Once it's seared, we're going to move it off the heat. We're going to go ahead and immediately add the mushrooms, and we're going to just build the flavor from there. This is all about building flavor. And the truth about this pan on how nonstick it can be is gonna be from this rice. I'm telling you, we're gonna take a brand new, never been used, paella, carbon steel pan, and we're gonna try to make fried rice out of it. Let's go to the grill. All right guys, so this is a seasoning process. Remember, you know what, let's do this. Full disclosure, we filmed this whole thing an hour ago. You're wondering why we're doing it again? Because it was so windy that Here. the film was absolutely horrendous. It looks like this. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so, in full disclosure, for everybody watching this video, this pan has absolutely amazed me the whole time. But what we're gonna do is reshoot the whole thing like it was the first time. Might be a little awkward, but this pan has done nothing but absolutely impressed me from the first time we seasoned it to even when we cleaned it up. Which was only like an hour ago. An hour ago. <laughs> so, all right, enough talking. Salt, pepper. Now you don't want to go too much because we're going to end up adding soy sauce to the uh, to the mix with mushrooms. Oh God! Mm. A little fresh cracked pepper, and we're going to cook this to the rare side because we're going to finish up cooking it with all the mushrooms and the butter and the Worcestershire sauce. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you right now, this pan is right where I need it to be. All right, you ready? All right. Mm -hmm. The pan's right where I need it to be. I'm just going to oil the, the steak. I want you to listen to that sizzle factor. You ready? We're this ready. is what you should hear. You ready? Look at that. That black pepper. And that salt is going to sear right on the bottom of that. I know what you're thinking at home. You've got to be thinking, I wish I could smell that. Well, let me tell you, the beef fat right now is starting to get warmed up. And it is absolutely just, what's it called, honey? Humor fang? Huh? Periforum? Huh? Try again. Perfuming? What's the other word? Aromatic? No, that's a that's a technical word. Oh, golly. Look how non-stick that is. 
All right, so on the bottom, what we're trying to do is build that deep crust because we're gonna cut this in cubes. So we want as much deep, rich color as we can get. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's see what this thing looks like. <laughs> That's the same thing I got the first time, that deep, rich color right there. Mm. Mm. And you can smell that pepper hitting the oil. You can smell the beef fat. All right, guys, we're just about where we want it. We're just going to take it off the heat. We're going to move this off the heat. Set on our plate. Now, this is just going to relax. All right, so all we're going to do is build that deep crust. After this is done, we're going to pull off the heat. We're going to let it rest, and then we're going to start building the flavors. It's all about momentum at this point because it's going to happen fast. We're going to um, add the mushrooms, a little butter, some Worcestershire sauce, some soy sauce, salt and pepper, some garlic. we got to get garlic. And then after that, we're going to add our zucchini and onions. And then we're going to put this thing to the test. Can we do fried rice on the very first cook of this pie pan? We'll see. All right, you about ready? Yep. All right, now remember, guys, we're going to pull this off rare because once we cube it up later, it's going to be incorporated back with the mushrooms. Let's just check underneath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Now, while the pan is still hot. Butter. And mushrooms. Cool the pan down a little bit with some olive oil. It helps the burn factor for that butter. So your butter can cook at a higher temperature without burning. Mm. You guys see that? That's what we're looking for right there, that deep brown color. You see that mushroom? That's how you build flavor. Now this is all built on the uh, the base of what that steak was on. And this steak left flavor. They had the, the beef fat in there. Mm. All right, stay with me now. It's almost there. All right, we're about halfway there. When I cook my mushrooms like this, I feel like a little meat in them. I don't like them well done. All right. Some pepper. A little bit of salt, remember, not too much. Because it's soy sauce. And here we go. There it is. There's no way you guys could do that inside. Unless your local firemen know that you're cooking that day. I can't imagine being a neighbor downwind for me right now. What they're smelling. They could smell half of this stuff. I'm gonna move it off the heat for a second. Pan's getting a little hot. It's all right. All right, what are we going to add, honey? I don't know. You tell me. Butter. Butter, butter, butter. Butter. And butter. All right. Oh, we got to add the garlic. We got to go and get garlic. I'll do that while this is cooking. All right, guys, I'm going to go and pull the mushrooms, salt and pepper this stuff, and we're going to get the garlic. We'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. Stay tuned. I love olive oil. Pull that butter down a little bit. All right, guys, so as you see, we're almost there. We're getting some really nice color on our vegetables. We just moved it back over the heat. Start letting it warm up a little bit. Add a little salt and pepper right here. Now listen, I don't add my garlic to the beginning because I don't want to risk burning my garlic. There's nothing more unpleasant tasting than some uh, burnt garlic. So we're gonna add that right at the end, right before we pull it. Remember, we went light on the salt because we're adding a little soy sauce. Man, I gotta tell you what, this pan so far, just think about this summer and spring, fall, 
We can do paellas with like, you know, chicken, chorizo, all kinds of shellfish, crab, mussels, lobster, shrimp. Mmm, golly. Man, we could do like brunch in this thing. You could do over easy eggs. You could take this to the campfire. Look at these handles. Absolutely no doubt, just a no brainer. Look at this. You can just so easy to move around the grill. This is a 26 inch Weber Summit kettle, charcoal. And this is a 15 inch paella pan. And this is plenty of room for so much more stuff than this paella. Don't let the name fool you. I'm telling you what, this carbon steel is really, really, really raising my expectations for this pan. All right, finish it off. Right where we want it. Almost to the edge of done. A little bit of soy sauce, help deglaze the pan. A little bit goes a long way. If you notice, we're almost marrying the same flavors. We're doing soy sauce, we're doing garlic, salt, pepper. So all these flavors marry a little bit more. Once this is done, we're gonna rinse this out completely just because I don't want to chance it. Rinse? Yeah, we're gonna rinse. We're, now we're not gonna add soap. You can wash your cast iron with soap. I don't care what anybody says. It determines how long of the seasoning process you're in. Since this is a brand new pan, then I'm not gonna add soap. All I'm gonna do is let it cool down, add some warm water, rinse it out completely, and that's how we're gonna do a fried rice. because I don't want to chance this of the rice sticking. Look how easy that stuff comes off the pan. I mean, that stuff is just... All right, guys. We're just gonna open this bad boy up. Oh, look at that, that's perfectly. That's exactly how we want it. I know it looks underdone, but once you add the mushrooms and get it heated back up on the skillet, we're gonna be right where we want it to be. Now, if you want this well done, it's still a good time to pull it off because you can just cook it and let those juices absorb back in the meat a little bit longer in your pan. But for us, since we like it medium rare, this is what we're gonna go with. Golly, the smell of this. We use the fat and everything. Mm, I'm still bite. <sighs> Give me a bite. Give me a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Just move that off the off the cutting board. While we're doing this, there's nothing on the grill right now. I've taken my paella pan off the grill because I'm going to rinse it out. The next step is going to be rice. And from my previous experiences with all my other pans, your best chance of success with making rice on fried rice on a cast iron or carbon steel pan on the grill is having a very clean pan. So that's what we're going to do. We've taken off the heat. We're letting it cool down because we don't want to add that water while it's super, super, super hot. God, just one more. Just one more. Mm. Right. All right, girl. Right down. Shake. There you go. Best fed dog in the southeast right there. Happy dog. Happy dog, happy life. Happy wife. That too. All right, all right guys, let's show what we've done. Now, I've taken this inside, and all I did was take hot water to it. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm still more impressed. It cooled down so quick, and I know that's kind of one of the controversies with cast iron because it retains its heat. Sometimes you want something that doesn't stay hot for 24 hours. I'm telling you, for the first cook so far, it's been awesome. Now the secret is going to be the rice. That's the true test. But all I did was add some new coals. I don't know if you can see that. My coals are getting a little light. I just added some new coals and they've already warmed up by the time I rinsed the pan off and dried it. Set it back on there. I've been preheating it. And this is the best time of the day. Boy, I tell you what, some good fried rice. When you get those brown crispies on the bottom, just like the idea of papaya. Uh, uh, Pop papaya. 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 
paella. Pa there you go. Once it cooks, that rice on the bottom settles and it adheres that crust. Mm. All right, let's get back on track. All right, that's pretty hot. Here we go. Butter, butter, and butter. We're gonna use quite a bit of butter. And we're gonna offset the butter with a little bit of olive oil. I know it seems like a lot of butter. Remember, we got a lot of rice. We had a lot of mouths to feed. Really, there's only two of us, but the girls won't eat it. They won't even touch it. But that's all right. More from Boston, Daddy. A little bit of olive oil. Come on, heat up, baby. I love these dang handles. I mean, you can just grab it. You don't have to worry about getting anything in the food. It's not real low to the grill. Don't grab it with your hand. Well, that's true. All right, here we go. Remember, the rice we cooked yesterday, and the reason why we do that, it allows the rice to cool down. That's why when they come out to, they've always got the rice in the bowl. And just like that. All right, guys, so we're just, we're treating this almost like ground beef. The warmer it gets, the more it breaks up. I'm trying not to squish the rice. Just be gentle with it. There we go. All right. Look at this pan. This pan, okay. This pan came this week. It's the first time I've used it. Look how this, it just blocked hot. You have like, what is that? Crisco? Is that Crisco? Hey, you always need some. I ain't touching it. <laughs> I ain't licking your fingers. You got Crisco on your glasses. I know where I know where my glasses is in. I don't know where your fingers are in. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright. Alright, full soy sauce. Here we go. Now we don't add egg or vegetables or peas or anything like that to it. Just butter, a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah, that helps it. That breaks it up. It, that steam. Oh, that smells so good. Yep. And that's how you're gonna get that caramelization on the bottom, them crunchies. Good time to add a little garlic, put a little hole right there, let's add just a little bit more butter. Mm. I know what you're thinking, how in the world can you have sticky rice with all that butter? But that's where you build the flavor. You've never seen somebody in a Japanese steakhouse say, hey, too much butter. Now with their pool of butter, obviously this is optional, but I think it's a great way Warm up your garlic in the butter. Like a garlic hot tub. Ooh, good choice of words. <laughs> Put that on our link to buy. Amazon wish list, garlic hot tub. Mm. Just wanna warm that up in that oil and the butter, let it infuse while you're doing it. The rice is gaining crispies on the side, just like you would on a pot. God, look, look at that. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Almost, like I was a, Beginner, beginner's luck, honey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, well, he's made this for us many get the times. Kid portion. You'll get the kid portion. <laughs> no, I need the big mama look at portion. That. Look, 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 look. You see that? That's what we want. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. That's about it. Now we're going to take the rice off, and now we're going to finish the, uh, the ribeye steak and the mushrooms. Let's taste it. I don't, mm. I don't regret this. Although the wind's blowing so hard, it looks like it's blowing. It's a windy day. My food. Mm. You immediately get the back end of soy sauce. I don't think it's overpowering. If anything, if anything. Mm, let me taste, honey. Nope. It's <laughs> going for the cooks. Just a touch. Just a touch more. Well, that counts me out. You haven't told them that your wife cannot cook toast. Well, if they did that, we wouldn't have, if they knew that, we probably wouldn't have a cooking channel. <laughs> Put a little bit more pepper in there. I don't even think I wanna add salt until leave it like that. I'm gonna rotate my pan, because that's where my fire is at. Now we're gonna go get the steak and the mushrooms, and we're gonna finish this bad boy up. Stay tuned. Yep. All right, guys, a moment of truth. Set it off the heat. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we got those crunchies. 
Oh yeah, golly. Some of you guys might not like it and that's okay. Hey, that's what cooking's all about. You gotta do you, you gotta add your ingredients. You might not like onion. You might, not, you might want broccoli. Ooh, broccoli would be good in mm. this. Tell me what, if you did, I'm gonna tell you what, as hot as this, this uh, paella pan gets, we could easily do chicken and do a teriyaki chicken. Maybe some sugar snap peas, some carrots, some ginger. Mm. And this is the first time using I can't say it over and over again how impressed I am with this pan. How, is this your first time using it? Third time. Because we've had to film about a hundred times because the wind. <laughs> They'll never know. There's only five people that watch these videos. So if you are one of the five people. We love you. Thank you. Look at that rice. We're going to mount it up just like they do. That Nothing. looks perfect. Now this is one portion, guys. Mom. <laughs> right, here we go. Moment of truth. A little bit of butter. Butter. I know it seems like a this lot of what? butter. This is what? I was going to say, this is like our, our, this is a full stick of butter now, maybe? No, a half a stick. It could have been a half a stick. Could have been. But you don't eat Japanese if you're on a diet anyway. That's true. Low carb. Low carb. I know you're thinking the rice, but come on guys. This isn't the time for cauliflower rice. Although we have made it. You ready? All we're going to do is add the ribeye steak back in. And that's what we want. Is that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Take that out. There was another one. Take that out. Fishing for fat. Now you know you've got a good ribeye. That goes to Nelly. When you can say I'm fishing for fat. Some of that stuff we're going to leave in there. We like it. Hey, if you want to use a filet, great idea. Sirloin. Stretch the budget a little bit? Absolutely. Like I said, chicken, you can use pork tenderloin and do a twice fried pork. Shrimp. Oh yeah, shrimp. Absolutely. Shrimp right now is $6.99 a pound. So you're talking about a well marbled ribeye for $6.99 a pound. And shrimp $6.99 a pound too. So absolutely. Chicken right now is a dollar what? $79 a pound? $89? Goes a long way. Mm. All right, so right when you want to pull this off, because you don't want to overcook your mushrooms, you can add your mushrooms. The reason why we add them last is because all that juice and butter, Worcester sour sauce and soy sauce, is going to create a semen effect for our, golly, just smell that fat from that ribeye. All right, you ready? Yep. Let that moisture reduce out just a little bit. We're gonna mix these two up and we're gonna be ready to plate. Good, all right, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Mm. We'll have to cut one of those little pieces so we can show them. Mm. Just a little bit of love. What a perfect day to cook outside. It's probably 60 degrees, nice breeze. I don't know if I'd call that a breeze. It's pretty windy. Mm. All right. Let's plate everything up. All right, guys, so the table's set. So this is what we got. We've got the ribeye and the mushrooms. And remember, they've been sauteed in the Worcestershire sauce, the butter, the garlic, the salt, the pepper, and the soy sauce. We've got a fried rice. I just can't explain how good that tastes in these vegetables. I don't know if you can see that glisten on these vegetables from that butter and from the soy sauce reduction. Oh, ooh. Fork, I need a fork. The fork is here. Ooh, let's plate. All right. Mmm, golly. Mm. Make a bed of rice. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Vegetable? Look, look at that. Look how caramelized those onions are. Give that to me, right? No, no, don't do it. Right there. Ah, don't do it. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Mm. How are you saying um before you taste it? Mm. 
coach. Which Noah's, I know my Noah's husband. gonna be good. I know. All right, look at those. I know my husband. Look at those onions. Mmm. 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 You want extra vegetable? We got extra vegetable. Let me try an onion. Mm. Let me try an onion. The mm -hmm. smell in this place. I mean, as you just build the flavors. Oh mm, man. It's like the idea. If you build it, they will come. All right. Mmm. Here. Honestly, Let's... babe, that might actually be better than a Japanese steakhouse. And I'm not just trying to right, ruffle your see. feathers. Let's see if we get lucky. All right. Perfect. Give me that bite. Give me that bite. Golly. Are we shooting a video or what? Mm. Even medium rare. Now, remember, if you want to cook this longer or cook it shorter, it all comes down to when you put it in the skillet with the mushrooms. Mm. That's good. I'm telling you. Put the Hey. What are you telling right me? Right here. Buy good meat. Because in the end, there's so much flavor in the mouth. Mm. All right, let's get this baby started. Here, come on. Mushrooms, onions, butter, garlic. Here we go. Mm. All right. Now, that's how we do it. Remember our yum yum sauce? This is how we do it. Mm. A little yum yum sauce. Optional, obviously, but gotta highly recommend it. And this is for me. Mm. No, I didn't make my own sriracha. I can't make everything. Here we go. You ready? Mm. That annoying noise. Drum roll. Drum roll. All right, here we go. Now, they don't get so close that you're looking at my nose hairs. They don't want to see that stuff. Let's get a big uniform bite. Mushrooms, rice. We'll pick out an onion and a piece of steak. Mm, dabbing some of that sauce. Here we go. Mmm, nose hairs. Where are they? <laughs> Tell me about it, baby. Give me it's a bite. hard to imagine. Give me a bite. I gotta be honest with you. You could sit there and say this is epic, the ultimate, unbelievable. But this is this is literally on par above and beyond because the meat quality, I promise you, that you buy is gonna be better than meat quality at the Japanese steakhouse. Unless you pay superior dollar for something else. But what this is right here. It's something I can't explain. You cannot get this at the steakhouse. If you make it this way and add your own stuff to it the way you like it, mm, you could put them out of business. Oh, mm. Mm. How many bites equal a tasting? I, I'm waiting for my bite. Where's no. my bite? This is your bite. And then this is my dinner. And I'm eating your bite right now. Watch this. God, those crispies. The way that pan, when you let it sit. All right, let's go. Is that a wrap? Hey, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Finish chewing first. Oh. Hey, I just want to say... <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> Work, I mean, I can't even think. Cut 16. Hey, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please press the... Did that... <laughs> Try again. Press subscribe, y'all. Cut. The end. Peace.